Hi everyone, Vince here. Welcome to my Prize Kingdoms Real Prizes review. Prize Kingdoms is one of these play to earn type of applications, but it's actually worth our time. Let's check it out together. I hope you enjoy. So this is what it looks like when you first launch it up. You have your in-game balance of coins, you have your premium currency, and you have your ticket-based currency. Each of these currencies have their own unique uses, but as you can see, your goal is to roll a dice and to move your little avatar around the board. Each of the tiles will either generate some gold, or if you're lucky enough, you can land on some prizes. Like here you can see I can go to a hidden path. So now I'm able to generate a whole bunch of gold coins and get an extra reward. Here we go, the Royal Rye. So this takes me around the map, collecting tickets, premium currency, and coins, of course. Because I managed to land on that tile, I was able to get 7,600 of the coins, 17 of the premium currency, and 22 of the tickets. So straight away, if you like these type of casual games, you might be in luck. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see here I have a whole bunch of dice that I'm able to roll. Simply tapping on that will roll the random combination here, which of course is going to move your character around. So I've just landed on an 8. So now I've managed to hit this area where it seems we've just woken up a dragon. So I feel sorry for this little knight. Looks like he's running away. Pretty much there's areas on your board that have unique features, everyone. It's pretty straightforward, again, to understand. So now it's giving me a bonus royale, which means 10 free rolls. So let's see what we can get here for free, everyone. I have to say, the game's graphics are very, very nice, by the way. It looks like I just landed on some tickets as well, which will definitely help us earn some real money once I tell you in a second. Let me just see what I can get from all these free rolls. Trying to escape the dragon's fire, it looks like here. We are just getting so much loot already. Now, usually with these type of applications, the more longer you play it for, the more of a grind it becomes. So always do keep that in mind. But right now, as a new player, we're able to generate so many of the resources. And so that knight has managed to get one of the eggs and that dragon's not too happy. All right, so all up, I've got 18,000 of the coins, 16 of the tickets and 154 dice rolls. That is fantastic. We have 202 extra dice rolls. Now, since I'm sitting on 35,000 of the coins, we can actually upgrade our board. So this is like the upgrade area. Essentially, we can upgrade things around our board that will hopefully give us better prizes and give us progression to the next area. So if I tap build here, I've now got multiple homes. I can upgrade these homes as well, which I will do do now. Obviously, the more upgrades you do, the more it's going to cost you. But at the top of the screen, you can see that we have a progression bar that's slowly moving towards that treasure chest, everyone. At the moment, we're on the second world, by the way. Or you could call it the second chapter. It's up to you. But either way, ultimately, our goal is to try and get to the end of that progression bar to try and get that treasure chest. So now, thanks to me upgrading as well, you can see at the bottom of the screen, each tile is actually going to reward me with more coins. So that's why it's beneficial for you guys to actually upgrade your area as well. And now the board is complete. Now we get to do the victory lap, which gives us even more free spins. So essentially, as you're starting off, everything is pretty solid, which is nice to see. Okay, so thanks to that victory lap, I managed to get 2,400 of the coins, two of the premium currency, one of the tickets, and an extra 23 dice rolls. So now this is a stage select area. Looks like we're heading to Seaside Resort. And there you go. Now we have a whole new area to explore. We actually managed to get our first chest. Let's see what we get here. 36,000 coins, 25 of the tickets, 32 extra dice rolls, and something completely new. We managed to get some common shoes for our avatar. So now it looks like our avatar has actually changed. So those collectibles are called totems, okay? You can use your premium currency to pull more. But you're going to notice there's many, many more available that you can browse through to collect. So from what I can tell, a majority of these are just skins, so keep that in mind. But you're going to find that most of these skins have their own rarity as well, which means that obviously sometimes they're going to have completely different looks depending on how far you get into that upgrade tree. You you can also do player versus player attacks, which means you can attack other people's little towns, but you need 30 of the fuel tanks for that. You can also create clubs, which is like the equivalent of a clan. But look, I'm pretty sure you guys understand the gist of a game like this, okay? Let's talk about the real world money earning areas on Prize Kingdoms. Bottom right corner of the screen, you can find your prize vault. Now this prize vault acts as the reward system for prize kingdoms. At least here in Australia, I have the Bundle Royale, the Epic Prize Pack, and the 1,000 Dice Reward Pack as well. Supposedly, so far, there's been 4,298 total winners. But you see, here's where Prize Kingdom kind of lets me down a bit, because depending on where you live across the world, the sweepstake prizes are going to be completely different from what I've seen. Like, if I tap on the Bundle Royale, it will give me an estimate of exactly what is up for grabs. One lucky winner will receive 2,500 dice, 1,000 gems and three legendary totem bubbles. 
games. Now, here is where it gets interesting. Enter your tickets today for a chance to win. Approximate retail value is $250 USD. Second place and third place also get a small amount of prizes as well, everyone, so keep that in mind. Now, if we tap on the Epic Prize Pack, you can see that we can get 1,000 dice, 500 gems, and one legendary totem bubble. Real world value is $100 USD. Now, the 1,000 dice, it's pretty self-explanatory what you get, and it's real world value is $50 USD. Now you see the issue is everyone, if you read the terms and service, none of this is transferable or can be converted into real money. At least not these sweepstakes here in my country. So this is purely in-game currency that's up for grabs that has real world value, okay? And the reason why it has the real world value is because there's a shop system on prize kingdoms. So this is where you spend your own money for the premium side of the game or to purchase dice rolls or gems. I'm sure you guys understand these type of systems. So we have the season pass, which is $13 worth of currency. If we're to get the season pass, guys, we get access to limited edition content. We get to queue up an item to start unlocking automatically. And we get to get the season pass loot from each of the tiers. An actual detail breakdown. You can see we actually get some extra bonuses as well, such as our name displayed in gold, a trap capacity increase, and various chests, and some gold as well. Plus, of course, almost 2,000 gems and over a thousand dice rolls. But then we have the starter pack, which is worth $8. Here you can see what the pack contains as well. Then you have the special offers section where you can see that 60 rolls equals $3.29 USD. And this goes all the way up to $64, guys. Gem packs start off at $600 for $8 worth of cash, all the way up to $5,100 for $48. And then you'll have your dice packs that start off at 15 dice for 100 gems, all the way up to 200 gems for 40 dice rolls. So now at least you understand where the game's going and how the actual currency system works. Some countries will have a lot better options than others. And because it's a sweepstakes system, there's no guarantee you're going to win anything at all. Even if I'm to enter 71 tickets into the bundle here, it could all be for absolutely nothing. So now if I'm to go through and completely upgrade everything on this map, technically we should be able to move on to the next area. So let's see if I can do that now, everyone. Just continuously upgrading everything I can, spending all the gold I can as well. And that should pretty much be it now. Let's see what happens. Yep, done. Board completed. So now I get to get my free rolls again, hopefully generating a huge amount of coins. As I said, I do like the concept of the whole board element, okay? Landing on different tiles that give you different rewards is a pretty cool system all in all. I just managed to get 6,200 gold coins and 28 dice rolls. So Seaside Resort is now completed. Now we're heading to Toyland. I've just unlocked a roll multiplier also for five times. And here you can see we now have the Toyland unlocked, everyone. Pretty cool. This is what I'm talking about. The game's not bad, dude. It's just when it says real prizes on the title, you'd expect a lot better options, at least here in Australia. When you find these little totems, everyone, you can either unlock them by starting a four-hour timer or just by using gems. When it comes down to it, Prize Kingdoms is a great idea all in all. I just think they have a lot of things to improve on. Having a sweepstakes system being the only way you can generate real world rewards from what I've seen here in Australia is quite a letdown, but there is so much content in Prize Kingdoms as a game itself. Like here we have a prize grab area where we have to try and loot someone else's money it looks like, which is pretty funny. So I've just managed to snag 587 gold. If Prize Kingdom had more ways for us to earn real world rewards, I think it would be fantastic. Unless I'm completely misreading the application, I couldn't see anything else in regards to real world rewards other than the sweepstakes area. I do believe that Prize Kingdom is a legitimate platform by the way. It's just you have to get lucky with what they're giving away in the sweepstakes at the time of you playing the app. Simple as that. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, by the way, if you've ever tried Prize Kingdoms before, because I'm almost certain this is different in your own country. So all in all, give Prize Kingdoms a shot if you want to. I personally won't be using it anymore until they get better prizes. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Check out my channel for hundreds of other reviews. See you next time.